Like, I need to know, are you good? Who says that? I feel like it's been forever since I've filmed for you guys, but it really hasn't been. It's only been a week, but whatever. Yes, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing this popular video that I've been seeing all these YouTubers doing. It is called Assumptions About Me. So what I did was I put up a question box on my Instagram and I told all of my followers to drop some assumptions about me. And I didn't get that many replies back, but the ones that I did get had me like, and they had me like, if you're watching this video, make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing, baby? We're on the road to 1K. You don't have to drop your like yet if you don't feel like it. But if you stay around and you like the video, make sure you drop the like, okay? We're going to get right into this. All right, so the first assumption that I got about me was you look so mean, but in your videos, you're so sweet. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. Because I'm really not mean at all. Like, I'm really not. Like, I'm the most sweetest, nicest person ever. But if you get on my mean side, then you're going to see a side of me you don't want to see. But I could understand why... Sorry, my freaking eye itch. I could understand why people think that I'm mean. Because, like, I always have a resting face. Like, even in my pictures sometimes. Um, definitely when I'm walking outside. Because I don't want to look approachable. I don't want anybody to approach me. So I just be like... So I can understand when people think that I'm mean because of that, but I'm actually not mean, like, at all. Like, I'm the most sweetest person ever. Next assumption that I got was that your vibes... I guess this person said that you're good vibes. I think that's what they meant to say. But they said that you're vibes and an amazing person. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I really do believe that I'm good as vibes. I really am because like the days that I like feel out of it, I won't even associate myself with other people because it's like I don't want my energy to be brought onto you. So unless I'm feeling good, feeling great, then that's when people will hear from me. But if I'm not feeling up to it, then nobody's going to hear from me because I just don't want to put those bad vibes to anybody else, you know? And what else did you say? That I'm an amazing person. Thank you. I appreciate that a bunch. Hi, guys. <laughs> next assumption that i got is that you are puerto rican i am puerto rican i am dominican and puerto rican i'm dominican from my father's side and i am puerto rican from my mother's side another assumption that i got was that she's mean again like i said in the beginning of this video i'm not mean at all like i'm not mean like what gives you guys the impressions that i'm mean like i would say my resting face um i would say Sometimes, like, when I'm outside walking in the street, I have a, like, straight face. But what to y'all makes y'all think that I'm mean? Like, I need to know that. So drop that down in the comments. The next assumption that I got had me fucked up. She probably cheats on her man. Are you good? Are you good? Like, I need to know, are you good? Who says that? Gotta be the fake pages that always got something dumb to say. But no, I do not cheat on my man. I am baffled. I cannot fathom that somebody said that to me. Like, what? What? How can somebody look like they cheat on their man? Drop that down in the comments for me too, because I am, I'm bamboozled. Bamboozled, bean boozled, what the fuck? But yeah, I'm confused. Next one. She thinks that she's fly. Another fake page again. How do a person think that they're fly? They either fly or they're not. And I wouldn't categorize myself with fly because I'm not even into all of that designer stuff that people be going crazy for. I'd rather have the money that I would spend on designer in my pocket than to have designer on. I can make anything look good, all right? I could shop at Rainbows and nobody would even know. It's, it really don't matter how much you spent on the clothes. It really what matters how you put it together. So yeah, do I think I'm fly? I don't think that I'm fly. I don't even know how that was an assumption, how that makes sense, but whatever. Hold up, I'm parched. 
Water is good for the soul. Walmart brand. What's Walmart brand? Great value. The next assumption that I got was that I'm very outspoken. I agree because I think that I am very outspoken. I'm never going to hold my tongue for anybody or anything ever. I've done that way too many times. I've like spared people's feelings and people have never spared mine. So now I really don't care. If I have something to say about something, best believe I'm going to say it. And I believe that that's how everybody should be. You should always say whatever's on your mind. As, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else because, you know, your parents should have taught you that if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. But if it's something that like you feel like needs to be addressed and you can communicate it in an effective way, then why not? So the next assumption that I got was that you're the best friend a person can have with a lot to offer. Um, so I've actually had this said to me by my best friends, by my friends. So it really does mean a lot to me. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you. I feel like I do have a lot to offer and that's why I need to make sure that the people in my circle can bring things to the table as well because then it just doesn't feel 50-50, you know? Like everything needs to be reciprocated. Like if I could bring this to the table, what can you bring to my table? Because if you want to see it at my table, there needs to be a reason, you know? I know what I have to offer, but what do you have to offer? You get what I'm saying? And I feel like everybody should really evaluate the people in their life and think about that. The next assumption that I got was that you're a great vibe full of positive energy. <laughs> Y'all be hyping me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Seriously, you guys are the sweetest. And this person never even met me in person yet. So for them to say this means a lot to me because it's like, damn, you don't even know me in person and I give you those vibes. That that says a lot. That says a lot. That means the stuff I put out on social media really be busting your, your brains. You know what I mean? Coco, come here. Come here, mama. Give me a kiss. She's so cute. Good girl, baby. Good girl. I love you. Give me one more kiss. And give me a hug. Good girl. That means that the stuff I be putting on social media really like shows who I am in real life. And I appreciate that because I don't want to be anything else but a great vibe. I don't want to be nothing else but filled with positive energy. The next assumption that I got was that you're genuine with a good heart and you're always inspiring others. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ugly as fuck. Yo, y'all really like y'all know I be emotional. If you know me, you know I be emotional. So why y'all doing this to me? Cause I'm dead ass. <laughs> I love you. You already know who you are. I love you. And I really appreciate these comments like that. Like I feel like people telling me that I'm genuine, people telling me that I'm full of good vibes, positive energy, like that's the best compliment a person could get rather than you're beautiful. Like things that are on the outside really don't matter. It really matters what's on the inside of a person. So I really appreciate that you guys see that. Like, I love y'all for real, I really do. The next assumption that I got was that she's quiet. So there's a lot of aspects to that, right? Because I can be a quiet person, but I could also be a really loud person. I feel like it just depends like on the vibes that I'm feeling. It depends on the setting that we're in because like sometimes I won't speak until I'm spoken to. But on the other hand, there'll be days where I will speak to a person first, like I'll break the ice. So it really could go both ways. But all of my friends tell me that like I'm the friendly friend, but they also tell me that I'm the mean friend too. So. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like I can be quiet because I'm a very observant person. Like, I like to, like, scope things out first. Once I'm comfortable with you, then I'm just always going to be talking. The last assumption that I got for this video is going to be that I'm Puerto Rican. I already answered that. I am Puerto Rican, but I'm not full Puerto Rican. I'm half and half. Best of both worlds. You feel me? That's why when people be having these debates, like, oh, Dominicans are better than Puerto Ricans. Oh, Puerto Ricans are better than Dominicans. I just be like... 
I'm both and I'm not gonna join this debate. So that was all the assumptions that I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got to know me a little more because of this video. If you wanna get to know me more than just these 10, 15, 20 minute videos, make sure you follow me on all my social media. My Instagram will always be in the description below and I'm gonna put it right here for you too. My Snapchat's in the description below. I have a couples channel. So if you haven't tuned into my couples channel, make sure you go to the description down below to find that link for my couples channel. And um, I also have TikTok and I'm going pretty crazy on TikTok. We're on the road to 10K. I believe right now I have like 7,000 followers we're on the road to 10k baby so make sure you go follow my tiktok i'm gonna put that right here for you too i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day you already know i like to end off all of my videos with a prayer i hope that everybody watching this video is having a great start to 2021 so far i hope you guys are filled with love and happiness and nothing but positive energy for you your family and your loved ones your friends all that good stuff amen see you guys in the next video peace Wake up, wake up Gotta get this paper, get this cake up